Isabel Mira Avendano. I am a pulmonologist at the pulmonary department at Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. We will talk about an article that will be published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings titled Pulmonary Manifestations of Connective Tissue Disorders. This article was created after we had a symposium uh, at the end of 2017 when we put together the more important physicians working in the field in the country. With them, we continue working, trying to get as well all their information, what they are doing, what are the results, and then put all this together in order to have the better understanding and the better plan of care for these cases. The takeaway is to teach the community, physicians and patients, about possible etiology and then treatment for lung disorders that are related with autoimmune diseases. This is a excellent summarize about what has been described and recognized so far in this field. It's not easy to get the amount of physicians that were part of this that are recognized as uh, experts in the topic in the country. We want to show what is the standard of care for these patients at this point. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we have created a combined clinic between the pulmonary department and the rheumatology department. So each patient that is coming to us with this possible diagnosis is seen by one of us in our pulmonary department and one of the physicians at the rheumatology department. And then we together got a consensus about diagnosis and is the best way to treat these patients. At the same time, we involved other specialties like radiology and pathology when indicated try to get the best approach in each case, keeping in mind that many of these patients require kind of individualized medicine because each case could be a particular challenge. So the, the best message that is given through this article is to teach the other physicians in the field, all the physicians that are involved in these cases, not only the pulmonologists or the rheumatology, but the primary care physicians about how to approach each case and how to help the specialized physician that initially are seeing the patient to continue the care of these cases. So it's a hope mostly because unfortunately many times when interstitial lung disease, many times mentioned as a lung fibrosis, is diagnosed, many patients are considered as an idiopathic case and nothing too much to offer for treatment. We want to teach that there are many options for these patients when the right diagnosis is made and we can treat, especially if it's on time, and save lives through better lung function as well. We are working together to get the, the more complete database and then show results, show our experience, what we are doing and which results we see in our patients. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.